we are celebrating the tricentennial of the Alamo. A lot of people believe when they come and visit the Alamo that the church is just the Alamo, but it was far more than that. It was about a four and a half acre compound complex or site, a mission then turned fort. This is the Alamo's newest interpretation, the Mission Gate in Lunette. So this would have been built in the 1750s and 60s, torn down about 30, 40 years after the battle in 1871. This Mission Gate in Lunette will truly be a gateway onto the site to really give an understanding that people are arriving at a place of very significant importance to not only Texas, but America. Because this is part of the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in the state of Texas, and we're very proud of that. And we want this mission gate, which was the main portion of the actual entrance onto the complex that we're recreating back from when it was torn down in 1871. We created the lunette. That is completely 100% my work. And on the, in the mission gate, we came in and we did the surface of it. We kind of used a, a lime wash over cementitious material sort of plaster to give it an aged look. Carlos is an expert in the faux bois technique and actually creating wood out of concrete. So when you actually walk through the Mission Gate and Lunette, you'll see what looks like actual timbers set up for that military fortification in the Lunette, and then the beams above the Mission Gate as well. The beams are made out of uh, reinforced concrete. And we mud it up and we detail it and sculpt it to look like wood. We also did the window sills in sort of faux wood. You know, I wanted to look as realistic as possible, so I, I put a lot of detail, but also divided it into two pieces because this is pretty deep. So, uh, but it's it's done the exact same way, and it, there's a a metal sort of structure, a hardware cloth, and then it's it's uh, packed with a concrete mix, and then you know finished with um, sort of like a neat cement finish over a mortar sort of finish. So there's. Like I said, three layers, uh, rough coat, brown coat, and finished coat. T has done work on the Riverwalk. In fact, his great uncle did bench work here. He and his family have deep roots in San Antonio to the Alamo and Riverwalk as well. And I continue to honor my, you know, my dad and my great uncle and the work that they did by doing it and also passing down the tradition to my children. So